Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out, the football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. This, of course, the fixture to which we've been looking forward so very, very much and for so very, very long. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch is pristine, the crowd basking in the sun, smiles on faces, a really good omen for the game, we hope. And expectations are rising and decibel levels are rising. The noise is quite something. You can feel what football means to the people in this part of the world. We stand for the national anthem of France. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Austria have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too. And that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So it's away we go then. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, Peter, it's hard not to focus on Usmane Dembele, a player of unbounded potential, someone who can add real width and dynamism to any team thanks to his pace and, and all that ability on the ball. On a good day, he can really be unplayable coming inside. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Kamavinga, Turan, looking for the runner, now it's Mbappe, gets away from his opponents, and the shot, it's loose, and there's a race for the ball, in for the follow-up, that's a half-decent try, that's a little unfortunate, he had a lot of people worried then. Hart. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. Klaus. Well, that is one way to stop him. Chance to break. Now it's Lyman. Down partner. And that has left him in a heap. France can't breathe again. Just. You know, it was an intervention that had to be made. Serious trouble lay in store. Savitsa. That's a modern defender's instinct from a, a modern coach's mindset. France playing here with a nice expansive style. Yeah, with their fullbacks making up the numbers in attack too, just need to make sure the back line doesn't become too stretched and face with too much ground to cover. 
Now this could be a chance. Spread out to the left. He's a sharp little ball here. Delivery from Mbappe. Place it in low. France clearly are looking formidable down that left-hand side, the current supply route. Look, it's the width that's providing this momentum, and, and they look set to further exploit. Really aren't convincing right now. It has to start in defence, but the whole team needs a wake-up call. Promising cross. And now they can clear their line. Oh, no to miss! Yeah, the touch before the finish is so often the critical part, and we've just seen an example. Austria take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Saliba. Looking to break out here. Knocks it away. What a corner. They've played it short. Danger averted for now. Grilich. It looks very much like they'd be happy to settle for this narrow lead at the break. Oh, that's well done. Really robust. Austria, corner number two then. And that's been lever clear. And now they can spring out of defence. And it's Dembele. Ball played for Klaus. Dembele's great chance! Oh, super goal! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. France are back on level terms. You run short of superlatives. That was extra special. His thinking was lightning fast. His movement was ultra sharp. And his execution, 10 out of 10. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So half-time, and it is all square. Neither able to pull away from the other, but that is not due to any shortage of effort on either side. It's a goodish game, this, and at half-time, it's one inch. So both teams heading off for the break, an interesting game has brewed up here, hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half, but the score at half-time is 1-1. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Looking for options for movement. He's found a way through. Kuntz. Dembele. Played out towards the right wing. Right on the edge of the box, it could go either way here. No, the referees judged that the offence took place outside the area.
Gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Back when it goes, Kamavinga. And here's Rabio. Hernandez. Grilich. A real chance to break. Baumgartner. Mignon punts it upfield. Grilich. Oh no, no circumventing this opponent. Saliba. Chouameni. And it's Dembele. And it's Rabio. Ball played for Klaus. Chouameni. Over to the other side. Oh, that was expansive and incisive. The type of move to please any coach. Could be danger, and the finish! Goal, France! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Just so calm under pressure, and he managed to fashion a fine finish. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position, and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Two goals on the day, and he may not yet be done. France go into the lead and they deserve great credit for turning things around but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair interesting ball could move up a gear here the ball is loose and the chase is on Austria needed that they really needed it oh that's brilliantly defended oh that is asking for trouble he's trying his best to keep it in play here a well cut out, no margin for error there at all. Hernandez. Nice control. Room for a shot. Can he finish? A potential goal of the season contender, if only. Hernandez certainly had a very good sight of goal, and he would have fancied a better outcome then. Woodson with intent. Baumgartner, great defending, strong and determined. Dumbele. He's got the shot away. It's it. Two up now, and they are cruising. Sharpness, swiftness, opportunism, a poacher's finish. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. And with that, the hat-trick is complete. Well, he's been on a crusade, and his first goal seemed to just whet the appetite. Changed the dynamic somewhat. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. And he is going into that little black book.
And it's Dembele. Oh, it's come loose. Rabio Pitches it off him. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. There's one big no-no when you've got a queue formed in the box. Grilic. Now it's on Nautovic. Lina. Lima. Rabio. And it's played forward. Now the counter. Can he latch on to this? Oh, now to Mitch. France are oh, making a change now. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Kainz. And here's Arnautovic. Oh, just skips past his man. Turns and goes back. Leimer! And that is the last effort of the game.